Hey guys, this is Kevin and I have a really important question. Do we really own our software? We all know the controversy surrounding the game Stellar Blade. We have the game's journalists worried that their publications will be sold off, leading to job loss, complaining about the character model of all things. You have the actual gamers praising how appealing Eve looks when compared to Mary Jane from Spider-Man 2 and Aloy from Horizon Forbidden West, as well as a ton of other examples. The latest controversy is the censoring of Eve's outfit in the latest patch. This patch seems to contradict the design of the game being uncensored. Gamers are upset that the studio shift up appears to have caved to the pressure of games journalists and decide to update Eve's outfit. However, I believe there is a deeper issue that plagues the gaming industry as well as other software industries. Which brings us to the question, do we really own our software? First, we have to start at the beginning. In order for Stellar Blade to be released, the game has to be certified gold by Sony prior to its release date. When a game is gold, it means that the game has reached a point where it's finished and ready to be released. It also means that everything the developers want to include in the game is in the build that will be available. This includes the uncensored outfits Eve has access to. When a customer purchases the game, whether it's the physical or digital edition, there is an implication of ownership from the retailer to the consumer. Everything from the game cover to the data on the game belongs to the consumer. However, the developers are free to make patches to the game to solve balancing issues, fix bugs, and add new content. These new patches are passed from the studio to Sony and ultimately delivered to the consumers if they decide to download the patch. Again, there is the implication of ownership. You decide if you want your game to be patched. With Eve's outfits being updated to appease games journalists who insult the very individuals who are the target audience and can save their jobs, it is no wonder that gamers are upset that the data they own has been modified to something they have not agreed to. Gamers want the version of Stellar Blade shift up intended to deliver. I believe this patch mandate came from Sony themselves. I'm not sure what Sony would have to gain by appeasing games journalists when YouTubers such as Heels vs Babyface, Endymion, The Night Sky Prince, and others have much more of an impact on gamers than outlets like IGN, Polygon, and everyone's favorite, Kotaku. I do not think Eve's outfit should have been censored especially since Sony allowed a sex scene in The Last of Us Part 2, and both it and Stellar Blade are rated for mature audiences. Does this imply that Sony thinks that consumers are not mature enough to handle outfits that show some skin as opposed to a sex scene? Quite frankly, I do not think we own any piece of software. The software on our devices will run as long as the platform owners deemed it worthy of running. Platform owners make the rules that developers need to follow or risk losing out on customers. Even if gamers purchase the physical copy of a game, at some point that physical copy would not work on newer hardware, forcing consumers to purchase a digital copy. And as gamers know, when you own the digital version, all it takes is for the platform owners to push a button to remove the game and your access to it. So what do you think about this Stellar Blade controversy? Do you think Eve's outfits should have been censored? And do you think you own any of the software that you purchased? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. And if you are new, please consider subscribing. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Take care.